Hey, your heads, Jeff with Gear Report here in the Battle Wagon 3. I've just picked it up after having the transmission rebuilt. Why don't you go along for a ride with me as I head back to Gear Report headquarters and uh, let's see how she does. So far, I gotta tell you, it's riding really smooth. This is uh, my third Humvee, and I've driven uh, several others. And I gotta tell you, the M1165A1 has got a pretty significantly upgraded suspension, and it is easily the smoothest riding Humvee I've ever been in. Here's something else a little interesting. The turn signal cancel ring that's a new one for me. I've had uh, the Battle Wagon 2 had a turn signal cancel ring, but it was missing the little pegs that stick out and actually actuate the, uh, the, the make it stop blinking. This one actually works, but it makes a little tick sound as you turn the steering wheel. Kind of weirds me out a little bit. Man, this is a smooth truck. I am really digging this and it is shifting silky smooth I don't want to jinx things but so far it feels like James did a pretty damn good job rebuilding this transmission So what have I done to this truck so far? Not much of anything. You'll see a door striker down here because I have a single X door. I have a driver's X door. I actually have two driver's X doors. Obviously I can only use one at a time. So effectively I have one door for this truck. Uh, the rest, the other doors are soft doors and uh, I don't have all the strikers installed just yet. So uh, maybe I'll do that when I get home because it's getting a little chilly out here. I think it's about time to put the rest of the strikers on so that I can have doors. But uh, holy smokes, the heat coming out of this sucker, it's crazy. Um, in this version of the Humvee, we have high and low. That's it, and then a switch for heat or air conditioning, and that's it. And the heat is coming out up here across the top. The cross pipe that goes over by the turbo, it comes out over here by the driver's uh, leg. That cross pipe is missing, so um, I don't even have heat coming through there. The heat that's supposed to go through there is just venting in with the engine, and still, even with the doors off, sitting at uh, James's before hitting the road to come back, I was baking. I had to turn the heat off. And now driving with no doors, and yeah, it's 50 degrees out, and uh, I'm completely comfortable. Like I don't even need to. Uh, I'm not not chilly. There's enough heat coming out to keep me warm. try my best not to pull out in front of uh, Mack trucks. Look at that. I'm telling you, this, it, I, well, I can tell you that it rides smoother than any Humvee I've ever been in, but, uh, you know, the, the ones I've had before would kind of jar your teeth out, and this is just so much smoother. It is amazing. Put brand new mirrors on. That's one of the other things I've done. I put uh, 
not just mirrors, but the whole um, bracket assembly and everything is brand new on both sides. And the seats, that's a brand new seat. Still got the plastic on it over there. Uh, this one is a brand new seat that I bolted onto the uh, existing frame. And then the two in the back, the seats in the back, I replaced both of those with uh, much newer than what was in them, although not brand new. And uh, honestly, aside from doing some pressure washing and uh, you know some other little basic initial maintenance stuff, I ain't done much in here. Uh, obviously, we got the big bumper up here in the front, the big W push bumper. And then in back, in back we've got the, well, we already had the airlift bumper, but I put a Rhino tire carrier back there, so, so we've got that. I think that's about all I've had a chance to do to this. Well, look at that. We are pulling back towards Gear Report HQ, so thanks for riding along with me. Um, you know what? I think that's all you get to see for now. Until next time, we'll see you at the range.